Hi, I'm Moxie and we are here because I got my new Ipsy glam bag for January 2022, the first glam bag of the year. Yay! Sound effect. Yay! Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, pretty much this is what we ended up with. I'm kind of digging the like innocent girl vibes. But anyways, I did get the bag, so we're gonna talk about the products, how they work, if they're good, if they're not, in my opinion. Don't forget to like and subscribe after you watch that mess of a video and follow the socials on at got moxie with two X's. I don't have any makeup on the next frame, so please don't be terrified. Word of warning. I look pretty different. Yeah, thank you for hanging out and I will see you in the next frame. Pow. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna try and go on the order that I have them on my phone. First, we have the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Hustla Baby. But... Then we have the Florence by Mills Tint and Tame Brow Gel in Clear. This little bad boy right here. Then we have the Maraji Scarf Scrunchy Anita in Blanco. Then I have the Bell and Argent 8 Free Nail Polish Dramatic Duo in Life Right Back and What We Believe. Then last but not least, we have the Danessa Mirix. Danessa Mirix Beauty Vision Flush in Bread and Butter. Lip Cheek and Eye Color. And then the bag is the cutest fucking thing ever. Been a while since I actually liked the bag that came with it and I've wanted to like actually take care of it this is this is that okay so I don't have anything on right now I just washed my face and pre prepped it I've said it before I'm not a fan or like big on eyebrow products the light is a little intense but it's the only source of light that we have today so deal with it you know okay so it's really just like a little spoolie I'm gonna bring you in there we go. See, the reason why I don't usually try gels is, or any eyebrow product really, is because first of all, I shave half of my eyebrows. Okay, well, I guess if I really wanted to bush them out, I could with this, but I really don't. Ugh, I hate the feeling of like wet eyebrows. Ugh, I really, really do hate that feeling. It doesn't really say anything about the product itself. It's just that I don't, I personally don't love, uh, Again, brow products, spe specifically gels or anything that's just wet. It just it feels so wrong. Um, but I usually have this issue with the inner part of my eyebrow that it's not the same. But at least with this, I can try to, you know, make it a little bit more even in that case. So I guess it does work in the sense that it if I wanted to kind of sculpt my eyebrows this would do the job the thing is me personally I don't like eyebrow products and I like the wetness and like the stickiness of it it's all just wet and sticky and I keep touching it because I don't like it I feel like the, if I touch it it's just gonna dry out faster did it do what it's supposed to do yeah so let's let's give it that it works so i used my mac prep prime and fix it in coconut and i'm just going in pretty quick with the fenty eavesdrop tint so i usually use I'm gonna go with a quick concealer. I just realized that I look pretty crazy and it's because I haven't done my actual eyebrows. Let's keep it simple today and I'm just gonna go with the Stuck On You one. Did the gel make the eyeshadow stick a little better? I think it might have, actually. Going in also really quick with the Milk Mini Matte Bronzer. So that's done and I want to jump into the blush. I'm gonna use, use it as that, as a lip cheek and eye color. I hate it when things have like tons of plastic. I love this packaging though. A regular little applicator. 
You know what, this is the perfect time to take the hair out of the way. So with the blush, I'm gonna go up here as I always do. That seems a little excessive if I'm being honest. But. And then for this, I am gonna be using a sponge. I feel like it's not showing up on camera as much as it is in person. In person, it's... Maybe if I put the light down a little bit. Yeah. You can't see it very well on camera, but it's... It's there. <laughs> it's really, really pigmented. It looks really nice. The color is perfect. It blends out pretty evenly and really nicely. It doesn't take off the rest of the product. I really, really like this. This, this blush is mint. almost forgot that we are going to be using this on the eyes and lips as well. I'm just going to make a cohesive look. It actually looks really nice. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding, I'm low-key loving this. And I can just, just kind of mix in that corner of the color with the blush. And then as a lip color, it also looks really cute. I love, I love the look that's turning out, I'm so sorry. But again, yeah, that blush, that, that kind of stole me. Like, kind of blew me away a little bit there. This blush, uh, on the eyes, on the lips, just like the look that's turning out, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara. Okay, so right now it is creasing a little bit, which is to be expected because it is liquid. Uh, but it's not it's not creasing like most things that crease that I wanna see if I can show you. So you can tell that it's creasing, but in my opinion, one, you can't tell unless I can pull you in with like a super HD camera. <laughs> Way too close. Uh, when it creases, the, co the color doesn't really change. Uh, so for example, when you use concealer, your crease looks lighter because you have that buildup on concealer. Uh, this crease doesn't look any different from the rest of the color. So that's why you can't really tell that it's creasing because it doesn't look lighter. Or anything it's just if you look at it from really close you can tell that it's creasing but it doesn't look like streaks on your eyes so I am gonna put a little bit of the Huda Beauty powder like right in the middle and then I'm gonna take my Bell and Argent brush and I'm just gonna brush that excess away really quick next up we have the Fenty Kilowatt highlighter it's so pretty oh plastic flew out good thing I caught it but here we have it such a pretty color. I like that it's kind of golden. It should go really pretty with like the reddish. So I really did click the button to record, but I guess it wasn't. But bitch, look at this. Look at this. I want more. I think I might be getting out of hand, but this is one of those highlights that just makes you want to cover your entire face in highlight. I am in love. Okay, a little bit on the tip of the nose. Bro, this is so gold. I just looked at myself in the mirror, like from up close, and I am overdoing it a little bit. Like, it looks great on camera, but it looks crazy in real life. That's what I get for using the camera as a mirror. I'm not mad about it though. No regrets. More. I'm gonna put the highlighter down. After I put a little bit in my inner corner. I'm gonna put some highlighter in my inner corner because there's nothing there. It's like really, really going in that like, I am like a blinding bitch, but I can also like be an accent on a delicate type of makeup. So this is definitely gonna be one of those things that I buy after it's done. Let me see if I can move with the light a little bit and then zoom in. Oh my god, you can never wear enough highlight. I'm in love with that highlight. Just putting that out there. And then last but not least, we have the nail polish. So I'm gonna change the camera angle so that you can see my desk and nails. It says, it feels like they would be vertically. Oh, sorry, uh, horizontally. Yep, all right, perfect. 
So here are the colors. As you can see, this color is actually pretty similar to the one that I already have. I will go and take off uh, some of this nail polish. So I will be right back. Perfect. There we go. So we're gonna do these two. We're first gonna try the nude one. Usually with nudes, I have to do a lot of coats. So for one coat, that's actually not bad. Usually nudes like that, I have to really pack it on. And it actually looks like it's drying pretty fast, so that's also a plus. Next up, I'm gonna use this burgundy-ish. It's actually a really pretty kind of like a wine color. It's a really pretty color. I don't think I have a color like that. A color like this, I usually expect it to be a little, uh, I don't know, thicker, I guess. This is a very liquid formula, so you can see, for example, on this side how it builds up because the color itself is pretty transparent. Uh, so this one also looks like it's gonna have... Uh, who knows? Maybe that second coat will surprise us. And then that's my issue with nudes as well, is that um, when you do that second coat, it usually uh, either removes color or it looks super super uneven like here so yeah I'm not gonna fight a lot with it uh, usually that is an issue that nude colors like this one have uh, more than one coat is not enough more than one coat usually makes it seem uneven even if you don't put that much pressure in that part of the nail so I'm I'm just not a fan of nudes after at all really because they all do this and then we're going back in with the burgundy color See, I would see this as a color that first of all it's, it's pretty streaky I don't know if you can tell on camera it is a little streaky um, I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's pretty streaky and I used a decent sized amount. It is still a little uneven up here and back here. The color is usually pigmented in the middle. So both of these are pretty sheer. That's the nail polish uh, portion of it. Recap, the brow gel did its job and it really actually helped once I put the actual eyebrow color on my eye. So I'm gonna go with a seven. And because I still don't like the feeling of like something wet on my eyebrows, but I think that's just a personal preference and doesn't really talk about the, the product itself. The blush, I'm in love with this blush, okay? This blush, I used it on my cheeks, I used it on my eyes, and I used it on my lips, like said, lips, cheek, face. Uh, and I really am kind of digging this like innocent look. I'm in love with it. It doesn't move my products, my other products around. It blends out really pretty while keeping the pigment. A lot of blushes like this, when you start to blend them out, they lose that pigment. So you have to build and build and build. This one, however, kept the pigment while you were blending it out. Didn't move your product. I I love it. I really do. And it's pretty. It's 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 one product for a cohesive look. Wins me over every time. The highlight. My man's. We already talked about the highlight. I want to dip my entire face in this highlight. I never want to let go of this highlight. I used it everywhere. I used it in my cheeks, my nose, and I used it in my eyes as well. It blends out really pretty. It keeps, again, that highlight and that color. Uh, even when it's blended out, it like, it, depending on where you look at it, it's either like a natural highlight or it just becomes crazy blinding. I look like a fucking golden statue. So I'm in love with that. That's a 10 out of 10 for me in my book. And then we had the nail polish, both pretty sheer, which is, again, doesn't surprise me for the nude, uh, but it does kind of surprise me for the burgundy-ish color. And the burgundy is a little streaky as well. So if I had to rate them both as a package as they came, it would probably be an average of a five or a six because this would bring it down. If I were to do it individually, this would get like a two or a three, which is what I would give most nude colors. This one would probably be about a five or a six or a seven. It would take about five layers in order to get like an even color throughout your nail. So it's pretty sheer for such a dark color. Uh, and then last but not least, I guess the scrunchie. Tight, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, it's extremely cute. I'm getting like uh, Anya vibes when she's in the boat on her way to 
meet her grandma. Whatever. I'm I'm in love with it. It's really pretty too as well. I love the the uh, print. That's about it. Um, pretty uh, solid bag overall with uh, some products that I will definitely keep buying in the future. Thank you for watching and thank you for hanging out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow all my socials. They're all the same at, at underscore not moxie with two X's. I'm pretty much everywhere that is a social media. Just look me up. It's all the same at. Again, thank you for hanging out and I will see you in the next video.